welcome back to real tech so in this episode i managed to go and find some gold it took me quite a long time if you look at the journey map here i was i actually found the gold where did i find the gold now i think i found it, it wasn't too far away gold four at the top here you can just see it just below that uh, topographic thing you can see gold so i found some gold but i went all over the place and found some quartz over here uh what was this one automite now uh, that is copper as far as i know so look just checking my list here uh <laughs> there's quite a few i think yeah no that one's actually um eulorium but i don't think we have a need for eulorium and certainly not at the moment so what i've started to do is to change them on the map so you see this one says gold times four so when i find something i'm actually putting the number of items i'm finding down there What's that one? I can't read it. It's too dark. I probably should change my colours a bit. Anyway, first thing we're going to do today, I've got some gold. Eventually picked up four items of gold. So let's have a look at that. What I want to do is um, put those on the on the table here and start to bash them with a hammer. I'm going to have to probably make an iron one of these. So let's do that. So we should have some chunks in this, rocky chunks. Let's put the rocky chunks in here and fill it up with water. Come over the other side and grab these as they come out. So we should have now four chunk gold chunks which we can smelt and that should give us eight pieces of gold. We need one piece of gold. I'll just stand here and get it out as it comes through because we want to make a backpack because we've got all this stuff and it's going to be hard to transport it back. So now we'll keep out of the way of that thing because it gets hot. Oh, made interesting noises. Now, what do we need for a backpack? Um, now it's on page two over here, and it's this one. So we need one piece of wool of any colour, gold and some and some leather. We've got enough gold. Well, we've got. We should have some leather in um, wool in one of these chests. There we go. One piece of wool in that chest, perfect. Oh, and in my explorations, I found a protection wand, which is uh, that looks like a fairly good one. That was in one of the village chests, so I took that with me. Is it getting dark? You can see all these markers. I should turn them off, really, <laughs> or at least change them so we don't see the actual lines. That might be better, wouldn't it? Um, so now we should be able to make this backpack here. So after making all that leather, now what you do with this backpack? you put it down on the ground like this and then you right click it and you've got your backpack so you can put everything in it like this but i think i will keep this one with me yes out of the way and go to our chest pick up everything that's control space by the way and put it all into there and that's already full <laughs> oh dear let's do the same thing again in fact i'm not sure if we can get everything in there we've got most things in there haven't we but I do want to take this lot with me. At least the sluices and the, maybe not, maybe not that. The two chests are now empty. I could probably leave those behind. It's really just these the sluice kettle ones, isn't it? You have to use pickaxe. Yep, pickaxe for that one. I pickaxe for this one. And the rest of the stuff we can quite happily leave here. We've got a furnace. Oh, we need the gold out of the furnace, don't we? I've got some sticks. Oh, we can take the furnace as it happens we've got enough space for that we've got all of these as well let's take the drying racks i'm using the wrong tool let's use the axe makes good noise when you miss <laughs> So what you do with this, as far as I know, you just right click it and it goes and shift right click it. Do I have to have an empty hand? Now there's a good thought. I've got too much dirt, let's just put one of those. Let's shift, did I take the gold out? Yes I did. <laughs> I think I have to shift. Oh, do I have to break it? Oh, I think you have to break it. Uh oh, no, you don't want to break it. <laughs> oh dear. Let's put everything back into this chest and see if I can find the 
the bits and pieces. Cool. That wasn't very clever. This has got the back pattern. I'm not sure how to put I thought it was just a right click on it actually. A shift right clicking. Shift left clicking? No. What am I gonna do for the backpack? I thought it was just to take it in your hand. Well, that's a challenge for me. <laughs> and it's coming towards night time, I think. How do I get the backpack in my hand? Hmm. <laughs> It's not the way, is it? Where's it gone to? I hope I haven't broken it. <laughs> I know you're supposed to be able to see it with the on when you've got it on. But I don't see it at the moment. I'm supposed to go for a quick sleep. Because it's night time. That's a nuisance. What have I done? Where's it, where's it gone to? All right, well, that's that's going to cause me a bit of a problem because I don't want to do that. So let's, what have I got with me anyway? So I've got my sluice gate. That's what I do want with me. I've got a hammer, which I can probably leave behind because there's only four pieces of iron, uh, four pieces of stone. Let's take, dump that. Let's take the pumpkin with us. Eggs we can leave here. Let's take the walnut sapling and the sugar maple saplings. Let's leave the red plant here. Well, I've got stone. I want this one, and I want the iron, and I want the gold, and I think I want the sunflowers. As it happens, the rest of the stuff looks fairly straightforward. I think we can take leave all of that with us. Uh, leave it all behind. I want the mushroom. I want the shaded garden. Oh, a bucket. I want the bucket, don't I? So what shall I leave behind instead of the bucket? I. Th think oh difficult one cobblestone it'd be good to have some cobblestone with me never mind so it looks like I broke the uh, after doing all that thing very carefully I broke the backpack so I have to find out what I have to do for the backpack I'm sure it was just shift right clicking it There's not much else you can do really is it anyway let's go back to base which is 370 blocks so I'll be back in a few minutes when, we, when we've got there right I'm back at base now so let's go and plant a few of these things we've got in here I've got these sunflowers now I probably don't need to plant those in here but we'll plant them in here for the time being or at least three of them we'll plant one of the other ones over here somewhere because that always gives it a good source of yellow dye if nothing else what else have we got with me a windy garden let's plant that down now with the windy garden, if you want to break this, you press shift, you hold down the shift and you left click it and you pick up the whole garden. Like this one here is a shaded garden. So let's put the windy garden down here and see if these two spread. What else have I got in here? I've got oh some more shaded gardens. Okay, we can put some of these down then. What else have I got in that? Pumpkin. Can we make a pumpkin seed out of that? So we can get four pumpkin seeds, that's good. Let's plant those. I'm planting them on the edge of course. Oh, see the place. And that one got picked up and didn't get dropped. Why? Okay. Well that was a kind of that was something else, wasn't it? I think that's probably too far away from water. We probably need to bring some water in here. I shall do that off camera, I think. Because I've got that I've now got the bucket, we can start to move water about. Which is no big deal, we can do it from here. Look. So for example, here I made a bit of a hole to fill up this hole over here. I'm not sure if I can fill it up if it'll go, it'll work as I expected to do, but it'll, it looks pretty good. Good. Now, the thing about, I don't know whether I told you this before, but the thing about these, you break these, it drops all the items. So the crates, you can't drop like that. So what you got to do with it, that's what the backpack's for. So I'm a bit puzzled as to what's going on, but let's put that one down there. So it was in there, treated wood sticks, cold coke, copper ingots, and I think that was about it. The other thing I found, when you're doing the uh, harvest, when you're processing the uh, 
iron chunks you actually get nickel and you get aluminium I think there's yeah aluminium dust there's two as well so we've got those as extras so we can smelt these up oh, we've got three pieces of cooked meat which we can eat if we want to where have they gone to four of those let's put in some sticks which I think I don't have with me because I probably left those behind let's have a look got any sticks in here no got some granite though we can put that with that got some stones put the stone in there got two pieces of leather Little some some plants in it. let's put the plants oh yes these ones let's put the sugar cane down plant some sugar cane anyway so sugar cane grows nicely against water so they should I'm not sure if they will plant here we'll try I want uh, three so yes that'll do fine we need two pieces of charcoal see these are, these are now just turned into leather they were steaks before I'm going to try and make another backpack so <laughs> oh dear that's raw beef I thought I had some I have to put the cooked beef back in my sticks and we've got pollution as well oh yes I need to make a chimney don't I we can get rid of the pollution easily enough to start with let's just make a hole in here like this can't because it's got pollution yes brilliant um, I think you can bash the pollution get it out of the way move it out of the way some, here's, some, here's some pollution I can't I'll tell you what we'll do let's bash it up this way make a hole in the chimney and put a chimney in there as well so we should be able to get that out of the way now I think I'll get hot because I'm beside the lava pool. So I've got to be careful with that. Now, what are we doing? I just wanted to make one another piece of leather. I'll figure out how to do that. There's some cooked meat in here. Let's do that. We've got four. We need seven. I've got two here. That's six. We just need one more, really. So let's just. I'll use these two steaks. Or three steaks. So I might as well put. this and the sluice gate down mind I put that down that way and the sluice gate is here sluice box let's do it like this if I put it oh it goes that way of course it, yeah I want it I want it to go the other way around really. so it's the way you put it oh. where did it go to oh there that's actually a bit worrying now you can actually da daisy chain these together so if I put another one one block below here it'll actually do it'll also go into that so now I also would like to do some tinkering stuff wouldn't I I'd like to get some more tinker stuff so we've got to get some clay and some sand I've s the trouble is there's loads of that about and I probably haven't been picking it up let's just have a check Stone. I've got the iron in here, it's 41, actually 46. Because I would like to make some more tools. Let's put down one of these sugar sap sugar saplings, put the other one into there, like that. On paper, that's right, three of those will do nicely. And the mushrooms, I should put the mushrooms down as well, silver nuggets. I think they came from the um, that crate, didn't it? Oh, so got, that'll, do, that'll do nicely. So what we'll do with this is we'll make um, a filter. So for a filter is basically three pieces of paper, two pieces of paper, and in the paper we sandwich a, a charcoal. And then instead of getting when you're using the water up like this, see at the moment I've got three health and three. If I do this now I get thirst and it only fills up one and a half. Like that. But if I take the uh, normal water from here like this oh, what's up to that up there is it dark or is it just a hole that's interesting I don't know what that means anyway it's coming up to night time so we're going to have to sleep so let's just do that while I'm thinking about it oh, no space for the sleeping bag really that's strange. Uh, maybe it's where you where you're sitting anyway. Let's have a look. Checking the mini map. Right. So
so it's another misty morning so now you see now we've got three of this so what we do with this is we put that with this charcoal foot and then we get some purified water and it uses one of one of those up and this time when we drink it we get three water so we're now full of water which is great it's actually a bit more efficient in, but not only that it's efficient in other ways as well so let's harvest these potatoes or want anything else be true and have we got any carrots plenty of weed and these things are growing still 33 percent okay so what we have to do with this now since we've got enough iron we, we should be able to carry on with the next stage of this some more wheat here let's take a gun to those oh potatoes and carrots good in fact they're all ripe aren't they even if they fall in the water when we're doing it so let's just pick i'll just harvest these up quickly stuff around at the moment in the food wise so I'm not going to worry about that too much but we can start to use aquamunda for doing some food processing now let's have a look at that now aquamunda has some books and they're in they're in the Kash Akashic Tome but the Akashic Tome is a, I found was a bit awkward you had, I figured out you have to do is you have to shift left click it that changes it back and then you can right click it to pick the book so here we've got an aquamunda manual so you can't open this oh because it says you have to use it on a i think it says you have to use it on a acoustic tome aquamunda money you have to put this on a bookshelf of some description how do we make a bookshelf but not that type of bookshelf i think it's a we got here bookshop sign it's like a little triangle thing so and I can't see it again for trying so let's just look for shelf in that case maybe it's not called, called a bookshelf oh, it's a little V thing and I still can't see it something conveyor belt magnetograph oh it's got some automation in this isn't it where is it this is actually quite frustrating not being able to see it it's just that's deco craft I don't think it's a deco craft item and I don't know the recipe for it either it's tell you what Now I should be able to see it better. But I can't see it at all. I'm sure it says you have to put this onto a, a um onto a shelf of some description. In fact that while I'm here let's put down this tree thinking about it. Let's put it down here. I think it's gonna be quite a big one. What have we got here? Oh yes we've got a plum tree. A fruit tree let's put the fruit tree down here and, and an apple tree okay yeah i made a couple of trees when i was out and, out and about stand that's the word i was looking for let's have a look for stand so we need a book stand and i think the mercy craft is that one so we need a book so we should be able to do that and I think we'll use this recipe because it's probably the easiest one 
We've got plenty of wood, so let's do that first of all. Let's turn this lot into planks. Turn that into four sticks. That'll give me eight of those, which is eight stencils, which is good. We need some stencils. So we need some string and some paper. Now paper I put away, didn't I? Let's go and get that out of here. String we want a piece of string for a book. We'll use these other three to make three pieces of leather. Oh. Wait, three pieces of paper I mean, sorry. So now we need that like actually it's like this, isn't it? String goes there and one of these goes here like that. And we should get a book. Good. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to put these potatoes away. Now we've got the leather, of course. Just came as I finished doing it. So let's put the let's put the this. Oh, I want the seeds in the other one, don't I? Let's put the seeds away in here. Potatoes, seeds, bread, carrots. Put away the meat, the potatoes, and the cotton. Now, can we do anything with this cotton? I'm not sure if I can make seeds out of the cotton. It's been a while. I think... I can make some string out of it. We can make some cotton candy. It's called candy floss in English. Oh, there we are. In Britain, anyway. I shall leave those up there. I'm not sure if I can use this one. It's Pam Savis Craft. Can I plant that? I'm just going to try it anyway. I won't be able to plant it without, of course, that harvest. Put this down first and see if that works. Oh, yeah, good. So that'll make some more string. So, what do we have to do to finish this, this thing at the standoff? It's quite a do we need a stand? But we've got sticks and... St okay, we should be able to... Do they have to be oak slabs? Hopefully not. Book goes in the middle and sticks. Yep, must be oak slabs. Brilliant. Okay, <laughs> that's like one of those things. Let's go and chop down an oak tree. There's no shortage of oak trees around. This one will do fine. So we should be able to put this the sapling back down again in its place. So what did we want? We wanted some oak oh, planks. Three will do fine. Of course I've got no space to do this now because I've this is all used up. I'll do it like this. So I might be able to just, I'll just click it into place this time. Good. And I think we can put this stand down somewhere. Let's put it on here. And then we can put, I hope we can put the Akashic Tome on there, like that, good we can. And then we can right click it, now you see, we can actually access the pages. So it's actually got 22 pages. So, introduction, you have to click, right click on the actual word. So Aquamunda is a mod that extends immersive craft and adds the concept of fresh water and various things that you can do with that, like cooking. And I don't, ah, maybe this is page two, oh good. Fresh water. You can find fresh water in normal world too. Dirty or salty is actually for many purposes. Um, that's why Anaconda makes fresh water. Okay. So it can be collected from tanks with a bucket. You can place it in the world. However, you can get infinite water, fresh water sources, and fresh water sources also by also affected by gravity. Okay, let's have a look. So there are two ways to collect fresh water: collection drain and desalination desalinated water so let's do this one so you need to place some empty tanks 
in the open and when it rains tanks will collect water okay so it will evaporate if it's actually in the, during the day so if it's do we have to cover those up try that again so it's visible to the sky okay so let's it's coming up to night time again so let's see how it makes some tanks now, i don't know what mod that you can only sleep at night okay i'm not sure what mod that is but it's probably immersive craft It's either immersive craft or it's um oh i don't want immersive engineering i want immersive craft don't i which is this one what's that that's a chest or uh, aquamunda i've spelled that wrong yes i've So a tank. That's a cooker. That's the book. I tank. Okay, aquamunda tank. Good. So how do we make that? Five pieces of iron and two stone. And then we've got a hose, which is wool and green dye of some description. Now what have we got for green dye? That's flower. Green dye biomes are plenty. Ferdinand's flower, so we can find this one and it'll make green flower dye. Okay, so that's a cake aloo. I think I've seen those around now, it's night time, I better sleep. <laughs> make sure we don't get too many mobs around. I think the villages are okay, I'm just having a look. Maybe there's some over there that needs a bit of help. Um, where are they over that way? have to go and bash if maybe a few zombies up but they probably burn up by the time we get there oh maybe not funny you got sheep on top of the trees All sorts of stuff, haven't we? That we want two rocks. Let's get pick up those rocks because I know I left the others behind. What's this thing? That's orange, gladiola. I think that's probably an. Oh, oops! I fell off the edge. Wind the saw. And this one you probably can make orange dye from it. Nope. So look for the uses of that one. None. Brilliant. And maybe we can use it as it is. Right. There's my little patch over here. So I'm we should be able to make one of these, no problem. So we want to make a tank, don't we? We do want to make a hose because we would like to make a sprinkler. So we need some green dye and a hose. And hose is from more green dye and lots of wool. In fact, wool we're going to have to get lots of wool. So we need this cotton to grow up and make wool for us. As you can see, we've already got two more pieces of that. What's this one? Hawthorn. Ferdinand's flowers are sort of all over the place. Oh, we can get our, we've got our string, of course. That'll also help. There's a piece of string in my... I can see a piece of string there, look. No space for the sleeping bag. I don't want to put the sleeping bag there. Uh-oh. I'm putting the string down, as you can see. But it's sometimes hard to see it. That's why you've got to... You really want to use an empty hand when you do this. Because it makes life a lot easier. There's another one there, isn't there? I think that's what I've been doing wrong with my rope string collection before. I've been, I think I've been harvesting, 
putting down more than I've been harvesting. Right, that'll do. Because we've got seven pieces of string. Now, so what have we done so far? I need to make another backpack. Let's do that first of all. Hopefully this time, this piece of wool isn't it. Uh-huh. I think that's how we do the backpack. That's really, I've forgotten already. Or is it, oh, it's nine pieces of. Of course, yes. See, when you right click it, I have to press control on this. Tell you what we'll do. Let's have a look. See if the backpack's got a wearable backpacks. So, if there's any any options on that one for the particular controls. I'm not sure if there are or not. So if you go down and have a look at wearable. See if there's anything in there. Open backpack B. But B's also conflicting, so <laughs> maybe that's the problem. Oh, hold on. B. I press B and it changes it to being like that. Nope, I don't know. So let's see what the other B is and we'll change the other B to being. Because I removed one B away anyway, so that was the. the Oh. The controls for the map. For the, for the waypoints. I put those on Z. Like I did with Forever Strand and for Lost Souls. Let's have a look. Um, I want the controls, don't I? Let's, I'm not sure. I think there's a quick way to find things as well. Toggle selection box. I think so. Let's press Escape on that one. That sets it to none. Create a waypoint at the cursor. We change that one to Z. That's fine because that'll be all right. It'll map with the other one. We'll get rid of this one altogether. And hopefully, open backpack still blocked with something else. There's not enough letters on the keyboard, are there? But I don't see what it is. So let's just try pressing B. That gave me my ball balls, didn't it? <laughs> this is very, very this is really irritating. Because <laughs> I don't know how to pick this thing up. You already have a back crap. Oh! I've already got it. So that, I did put it on. So you press shift right click and you put your other backpack down and there it is. Oh dear. How did I pick it up in the first place then? My ball backpacks. Tell you what. I think it was left clicking up. And then I've got it on. So let's just press it was shift right click. No, it was B, wasn't it? And I think if we press F5, oh yes I've got it on. So it is shift left click to put it down <laughs> oh dear <laughs> well that's where it went to no problem there so there we are we've got two backpacks now so all I spent all this time doing it and I couldn't didn't need to I have to put it down to fill it up by the way let's, let's press F5 again so you do have to press it down so you shift right click it to put it down and you can open it up with a right click and you break it with a left click and it's on, the, on your back like that God. So that's that problem sorted out. So, right, we were trying to do Aquamunda, weren't we? Well, I was anyway. So I can put down this tank. I've made a tank here. So I should be able to put this down and it should collect rainwater. Let's put it there, for example. Oh, yeah, that looks, better. That looks more like a tank now. Before it didn't look like a tank, did it? But I haven't seen it rain here yet. Yeah. What have we got here? 
Are they fully grown? Yes, they are. Good. Can I let it? Oh, this is the car mod one, isn't it? It's not the. Yeah. yeah. So that's less. I think that's less useful for us for the time being. We'll put that in uh, this backpack. I'll put the Ferdinand's flowers and the silver in here too. And I think that'll do for now. Is there anything else we'd like to put away? No. Right, so the next one. The next way of doing this was how. Okay, we've got that, no problem. So, a nice trick to prevent the collected water from evaporating is to use other tanks that are not exposed and using hoses to bring the water from open tanks to close ones as soon as possible. Aha, okay, so we need to get some green dye. So that, I'm not sure how to do that so easily. I'm going to have to go and explore a bit, isn't it? Let's have a look, what do we have for green dye? So let's look for the um, hoses again. It was this one. So we've got green, fl yeah, we can do that. This is all, this is all desert stuff, isn't it? So we can crush green wool and that'll give us a 5% chance, not very good. Or we can cook. But these things are tiny cactus. Might be awkward. So go ahead. Okay. Gives fruit after a rainstorm nature. Okay, that's and this is a standard Minecraft cactus. Now there is desert and it's not too far away. I did find it. But let's start i think next time i'm going to make the tinker's construct because i've got everything I need here look, i've got sand and i've got uh, gravel and i've got clay and we've got fish i sure it's good food let's see i'm only one hit it's not very good is it how much how much life have they got these things haha <laughs> swim away I got him that time. Why do fish bother with fish? Because they've got quite good, they've got quite good um, food. Yeah, the village is a seventeen wool. Yes, that would be nice because we actually we need wool. What's he? Oh, he's different. He's coal for emeralds. What else he gives you? An enchanted shovel, efficiency one, and breaking one. Now he might be interesting. I didn't know about him. I have to remember, he's on with the... He looks slightly different, I thought. So, Jolam. Oh, that's nice and tidy. We lost all of the, the farmers in the in this village yet, then that's good. So what else can we do for this for this water? So hose is one way, so that's good. I've read that already. I've done that one. So another tip that can be used is a desalinator. So let's look at that. Desalinator evaporation. So with two blocks, you can convert normal water to fresh water. Okay. Oh, it's night time. I need to. I'm sorry. I don't need to press that, do I? Just need to sleep. Okay. So multi blocks, you can use hoses to transform normal water to the desalinator. So I've got to find a lot of cactus green. Or green of some description, so I better suppose I'll do that between episodes. Um, and I think I've done about 40 minutes now, which is probably long enough for today. So it's now the weekend. I'm going to what I'm going to do during the weekend is um, I'm going to see if I can basically go and get some more minerals. And while I'm doing that, I'll see if I can find the cactus green. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.